Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to our Sri Lanka with Sanka series. Um, and I'm joined today by Sanka, as you can see, and we're going to be talking about the top 30 luxury properties in Sri Lanka. Um, yeah, some of our favorites and um, yeah, most popular properties that all of our clients like to sell. Um, so yeah, it's a great uh, opportunity for everyone to learn a bit more about the product in Sri Lanka um, and why these hotels individually stand out um, and why we love them so much. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Sanka, but before I do that, if you have any questions throughout, then please feel free to ask um, in the question box and I'll ask them to Sanka at the end um, and we can go through them. And if you're having any issues with sound or seeing anything on the screen, just write that as well in the question box um, and then we, we can address that. Um, so yeah, I'll hand over to Sanka now. Thanks, Liv. Welcome, everyone. So today the topic is uh, we're going to be talking about some of the best properties that we have in Sri Lanka. So uh, what I thought was like uh, before going in, I thought I would uh, list these properties down in a way that you would be using them in a standard uh, itinerary. Of course, you would like to mix and match, but uh, for first comers, this would be a good way of uh, understanding how the properties can be used in a round tour. So without further ado, let's uh, start off. So uh, closer to the airport, we have Valawa. So Valawa is a part of the teardrop collection, actually. So this is one of the best properties that we have close to the airport, just 20 minutes away. And then uh, they have uh, several room categories. So if you are having a high-end client, I would say go with the garden suites, which have, just like the name says, a private garden. So some of the gardens are not so private, but some are private. So I mean, like, this is what we do. Being your DMC, we make sure that the correct room is being allocated for your guests. So uh, the Valavo bedrooms are a little bit smaller. And then uh, uh, the family suite is a collection of a garden suite and a Valavo bedroom. So the Valavo bedroom in the family suite is always a twin. And then both these rooms are interconnected, actually. And a couple of things that you need to uh, keep in mind when it comes to using the family suite. If you want to have a third bed in any of the rooms, it would have to be in the garden suite, which I think uh, might not be ideal for some guests because uh, the parents would want to stay uh, together. But in that case, always go for the Mountbatten suite where you can put up to like five people. So the main bedroom is there. So it's not a two bedroom unit. It's the main bedroom, and then there is a separate unit uh, that you can use. So the Mountbatten suite is the only room that has a private plunge pool. So across all teardrop properties, the food is amazing, uh, very Sri Lankan. They spend a lot on their menus and training their staff, uh, restaurant staff, and getting like really great chefs. So uh, when it comes to teardrop properties, it is going to be a great choice for you. Moving on to Colombo, so we do have uh, several uh, properties in Colombo, but we like Uga residence because it is a part of the Uga Escapes collection. And uh, one of the reasons why we like this place uh, and the collection is because of the people factor. So whether it be Uga residence, Ulagalla, or Chenahats, which we'll be talking, and uh, the properties on the East Coast, the people factor is one of the best uh, uh, features of them. So the service is really good. You get the homely vibe when you're uh, staying at all these places. And uh, you might uh, remember, if you have used Uga Residence before, that they had 10 park suites and one royal suite. But uh, moving ahead, uh, they will be converting the royal suite into a special dining uh, location. And uh, they'll be taking over two of the park suites uh, for uh, the special dining purposes as well. So great food in the heart of the city. Uh, they have some great cocktails. A little bit of a dark vibe is there. So that is something that you would have to explain to your guests, like uh, the uh, bar area, the library area, and then uh, uh, some of the rooms, uh, they have a little bit of a dark vibe. So if the clients love it, then uh, this is one of the best properties that they have because the rooms are really, really large. So um, I will uh, give you an idea about the star categories as well, because the properties that we are using that we are showcasing today are the best in the areas. 
but uh, you would uh, need to know whether these are like five star luxury properties the four stars or you know, like uh, uh, in the middle of those two properties in the middle of those two categories so Uga residence, I would say, is a four-star plus property. Uh, in Colombo, we do not have any five-star properties. Of course, the government and the tourist board would say otherwise, but when it comes to the luxury clients that uh, you and I would be handling, uh, this would be a four-star plus. Uh, Wallawa would be a lead-in five-star or even a four-star plus, depends on what type of a client you would have. Moving on to Ulagalla, so Ulagalla, we can uh, set it at the five star uh, category. All the rooms have private plunge pools, which is uh, a must in this area, because uh, if you have been to Sri Lanka, you would know that uh, this region, which is like Sigiri, Andhra, the Purudambu, the Polonaro, this region is very hot. So humidity levels are very high. So having your own private plunge pool is uh, one of the uh, great value additions that you can have. So they added five deluxe pool villas several years back, which is a larger version of uh, the pool villas. So the deluxe pool villas are ideal for families actually because there is a larger living space and a secondary uh, smaller washroom. So I wouldn't call it a two bedroom in it, but uh, still for families who are like two adults, two kids uh, can easily share in a deluxe pool villa. Uh, then they have one Nikavava pool villa, which is a two-bedroom unit. So I would say uh, not ideal for uh, smaller kids because there are some uh, you know, like uh, uneven steps that you would have to jump over, not jump, but for kids it would be a jump. So they would have to walk over. So because of that, uh, smaller kids uh, who are like running around, uh, we do not recommend the Nikavava pool villa. So, uh, like I said before, the people factor here is amazing. The great, uh, a great service, and then they have a great Kamatha dining experience as well. And uh, yes, they have a horse table, which is a unique uh, feature for Sri Lankan uh, hotels. And then the second uh, property in the uh, region would be the Water Garden Sigiriya. So, Water Garden Sigiriya and uh, Ulagalla go hand in hand. So it's like uh, 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 Wild Coast and Shrena Huts. Both are in the same category, but uh, some people like one and the other people like the other. So Water Garden Sigiriya, the USPs would be the close proximity to Sigiriya. So as you can see from uh, one of the pictures, the Sigiri Rock Fortress is like right on your face. Uh, from some of the rooms, you can see the view of uh, the Sigiri Rock Fortress. Those would be the deluxe uh, twin pool villas. So starting off uh, on the room categories, we have the deluxe villas without pools and then the super deluxe uh, pool villas uh, and the duplex twin uh, pool villa. So the duplex would be double room upstairs, twin room downstairs and a pool outside. So that would be the uh, room structure of Water Garden Sigiriya. And then they have some uh, really amazing experiences that they have come up with like the Arak pairing experience, the Pidurangala sunrise breakfast. So they have a yoga master in-house as well. So uh, completely different. I mean, like, I wouldn't say 100% completely, but a little bit different to Ulagalla. So uh, room-wise, I would say both are at the same level. So highly luxurious, both at the five-star level, really spacious. And then, uh, I mean, like, uh, you got a couple of really good options in this region. Then we will uh, talk about leopard trails. So uh, Vilpatu is a place where the majority of the clients who go to Vilpatu would be just to uh, do the safaris. So there are three national parks in Sri Lanka where you get leopards. Uh, one is Vilpatu, the other one is Yala, and the third one is Kumana. So we will be talking about properties uh, in all these three areas. So uh, people would uh, want to go to Vilpatu because sometimes they might not like to go to Yala because it's like so crowded and too many people. So uh, Vilpatu would be an ideal alternative. So uh, in Vilpatu, we would highly recommend the leopard trails. So they have currently two room categories, uh, tent actually. So uh, these are like proper luxury tents, not mobile. So uh, uh, uh stationary and then uh, they have uh, made uh, the flooring and everything uh, stationary and uh, from 15th may onwards a uh, couple of the deluxe uh, tents would uh, be converted into uh, pool suite tents so which means uh, there would be private plunge pools in two of the tents in Vilpatu as well and from 1st of june onwards they would be having a spa with uh, two spa beds 
So yes, so like I said earlier, Vilpatu is like an amazing park, the biggest national park that we have in Sri Lanka where you get leopards, bears and elephants. Okay, so now uh, to talk about the routing. So we started off with the airport. Sometimes the clients, if they are arriving like uh, very late in the evening, they would want to stay closer to the airport. Sometimes if they want to be active, they might go into Colombo and then uh, do some experiences. Unfortunately, we are not talking about experiences in this uh, webinar. So if you want to know more about uh, our experiences, um, like drop a, an email or drop a message in uh, uh, the uh, question section. We can do a separate webinar on that. So uh, there are so many things that you can do in Colombo. And after that, you can uh, drive to the Cultural Triangle, which we talked uh, last, or else you can take the Cinnamon Air flight, which is just a 30 minute flight opposed to the four, four and a half hour drive. So in the Cultural Triangle, those are the uh, places that we would recommend. And after the Culture Triangle, we are going down to Kandy. So Kandy is like in the central part of Sri Lanka. And then uh, while staying in Kandy, we would recommend two properties. One is W15 Hantana, luxurious property. So if you know tea trails, I would say this is more of a modern tea trails kind of a property. So they have four stable suites. Uh, I mean, like if you have a high-end guest, I would uh, skip that uh, room category and go for the bungalow suites because uh, stable suites, uh, I mean, like the space is a little bit smaller and then there's a huge bed in the room, which means uh, the space is a little bit uh, limited when it comes to moving around in the room. And then there is uh, a service entrance right in front of uh, the stable suites. So uh, the recommended room category to start off with uh, would be the bungalow suites, which are right inside uh, the colonial bungalow. And then if you have like very high end guests, I would say go for the master suite. The size is bigger, the garden is bigger. And uh, one of the biggest uh, unique selling points of this place is how close uh, it is uh, to uh, the city of Kandy. Within like 20, 25 minutes, you can be in the city center. Plus when you're at the property, you would have like amazing mountain views and also right behind the property is another mountain range where the guests can uh, just start uh, hiking from the property so this is a good uh, uh, usp because uh, as you may know knuckles and then uh, heel or trek these kind of excursions needs a lot of driving so like 45 minutes one hour drive from the hotel to the starting place of the hike so if the clients do want to do that Still at uh, W15 Hantana and then uh, do these easy trails. And then the second property in Kandy would be Santani. So this is one of my favorite properties. So uh, what I have to tell you with this is because it is a very unique property, but uh, you need to explain a lot about this property before you include it into an itinerary because uh, in 2018, uh, Time Magazine came up with uh, the top 100 uh, places to visit in the world, like Grand Canyon, Antelope Canyon, and then uh, Santani was one of them. So they have won almost every architecture award that can be won in Sri Lanka. So this is an amazing place which has great service and great food. So one of the best uh, uh, food can be found here. Now to the uh, areas that you need to explain uh, to your guests. So the rooms are not air conditioned, but you don't need air conditioning because as you can see from the photos, it is surrounded by a mountain range and then uh, you get a lot of ventilation. But during the day, it could get a little bit hot, but there are fans in the room, uh, so it is uh, uh, um, not a big issue. And then we have got a couple of guests come in saying that uh, at night, uh, it gets really silent because there are no roads uh, close by. There's not a lot of noise. So since it gets very quiet, you can hear sometimes, I know like uh, loud noises coming from the other room. Not everyone, I would say like two to 3% of the clients would say this, just want to you know, like let you guys know about this so that uh, you will be prepared for this. Another thing is like the room is very minimalistic. So I mean like, it's not like tea trails where I you know like everything is flashy. So I was talking to the owner and uh, what his uh, thoughts were about it was like he wants to keep uh, 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 the room at a very minimalistic concept because uh, when it comes to a lot of flash colors, the mind needs to process a lot of these colors, red, green, blue, yellow. So, I mean, like if he keeps it to black and white and green, then, of course, the effort the mind has to put 
in order to process these colors would be very less, which means in terms of wellness, your mind is relaxed and then uh, it is another great uh, concept. And it is for adults only as well, no kids allowed. Okay, so from Candy, now we are going into the hill country. So in the hill country, we have uh, Ceylon tea trails, which I would say without a doubt, one of the best properties that we have in Sri Lanka. So when it comes to Ceylon tea trails, if you haven't sold this place, if you haven't been to this, it's not uh, one uh, location for the property. So it is like five different bungalows located in like four different mountains. So um, I would say three of those bungalows have a reservoir view, just like uh, this photo. So which is like a big selling point uh, when it comes to promoting the tea trails bungalows. So the tea, uh, three bungalows that have uh, the reservoir view of the Castle Ray Reservoir would be Somerville, Dunkel, and uh, Castle Ray. So then we have Norwood, which doesn't have the reservoir view, and then Tianjin. Tianjin is at the furthest corner. So uh, we love uh, Dunkel, Castle Ray, and sometimes uh, Somerville as the first priority because of the location. And uh, also, if you are going into details and if you're writing down uh, notes, then uh, make sure that uh, if you want a master suite, you would have to go for either Dunkeld or Somerville from the reservoir waves because in Castle Ray, there are no uh, master suites. But in Castle Ray, we have some of the best garden suites because getting a reservoir view from your room is a little bit of a hard thing for Somerville and then uh, Dunkeld for the garden suites. But uh, in uh, Castle Ray, you get uh, a couple of rooms which have one of the best uh, reservoir views. I mean, like it's not like right next to it, but beyond uh, the garden, beyond the trees, you see an amazing uh, view of the reservoir. So if you want a uh, luxury room, so I mean, like these uh, tea bungalows, their room categories would be, I mean, like, they have so many room categories. Luxury room as a starting room category, garden suite as a second one. So if you have any high-end guests, I would always say go for the garden suite because just like the name says, there would be like a private garden with lelos and then a good uh, atmosphere. And then the third category would be the master suite. And then the highest category would be the owner's cottage. There is only one owner's cottage in the entire collection that is in Dunkel Bungalow. So the difference between a garden suite and a master suite is uh, the space is bigger. And except in uh, one uh, uh, instance, uh, all the other master suites has a door that can close and uh, where the living area can be turned into, uh, I mean, like a, you can put like two additional beds for kids below 16 years. So a master suite could be ideal for families with kids below 16 years. And uh, there are no interconnecting rooms in any of the uh, bungalows. And then uh, if you haven't been to this place, you have to do a little bit of a explanation because the concept is such because if you're paying like thousand thousand five hundred dollars you would expect that you would have a whole unit just for yourself but no here it is the tea planters uh, concept that we have rooms situated next to each other so i mean like we'll have to explain about that and then uh, the uh, swimming pools are not heated the jacuzzis are so uh, except one bungalow all the other bungalows have jacuzzis so if you have the chance, always go for uh, the three bungalows which are closer to the reservoir. And Ceylon Tea Trails is one of the Reliant Chateau properties. Uh, there are three, uh, Ceylon Tea Trails is one of them. Okay, so closer to Ceylon Tea Trails, we have Camellia Hills. So as you can see, the same reservoir view is there and then uh, Camellia Hills is an amazing property as well. So uh, a little bit of a different property to tea trails. Uh, Camellia Hills is a little bit more modern, uh, whereas tea trails has the uh, old colonial vibes to it. But uh, uh, when it comes to the views, uh, Camellia Hills, uh, I would say go for the Dikoi suite and then the Lakeview suites. So uh, Camellia bedroom, which is a twin room, has no Lakeview, which is uh, facing the other side. But uh, there is a small, uh, 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 what do you call a balcony garden uh, kind of an area where you can come and then if you look towards your right then of course you can uh, see the reservoir but it is a lot of effort so that's why we say no reservoir view so the lakeview bedroom has no uh, balcony 
So uh, Lakeview Suites, one is upstairs uh, with a balcony. Uh, once you come to the balcony, you get a direct view of uh, the reservoir. And then the other one is downstairs, uh, which is the bottom right picture of this. So amazing views of the reservoir. And then uh, the only downside to this is downside to this room is like it is made out of glass. So I mean like and then the pathway leading down to the pool area is right next to this room. Of course, blinds are there. And then in the evening, since there are only like five rooms, there won't be like a lot of people moving around. So yeah, this is another uh, teardrop property. Again, great food, great service. So a uh, really good place for you and your clients. Okay, moving on. Uh, so uh, we are now going to the uh, town of Noralia. So we have Godfell, again, another Teardrop property, just four bedrooms, ideal for families and friends looking for like three, four rooms. You can take over the whole place. This is an all-inclusive product. Oh, I couldn't say tea trails and uh, Camellia Hills are all-inclusive products as well. And uh, Goatfell is another all-inclusive product. So even though we say Norelia, uh, Goatfell is located 45 minutes away from the city of Norelia. So I wouldn't recommend uh, keeping your clients in the city because it is like a little bit noisy. And then Norelia is one of the famous cities for the locals. A lot of people are moving around. And uh, during the night, uh, there are some loud uh, you know, like music uh, being played in uh, different parties. So uh, not a very calm and quiet place to stay inside the city. But of course, Goatfell being on top of a mountain, uh, 45 minutes away from the city, would be the ideal place uh, for your client's hill country experience. Okay, so then we are going to Totalagala. So uh, before we talk about uh, Totalagala, if you are having clients who want to uh, stay in like uh, first stay at uh, closer to the airport or in Colombo, then we went to the Cultural Triangle, then came to Candy, and then uh, you could uh, come to Hatton or Norelia by train. But if you are going, uh, if your clients are going to Alla, then of course I would say take the train from Norelia, where we talked about Goatfell, and then go to Norelia uh, Alla because that is the most scenic part of the train journey, and then it is just two and a half hours from Norelia to Alla. But if you do from uh, Candy to Alla, it's going to be like two and a half, five, six and a half to seven hours uh, train journey from Candy to Alla, which could be a little bit long. Uh, for some guests, but uh, you know, like it's a beautiful journey. But why I recommended No Relay to Alla is because of the best scenic uh, part of the train journey. Okay, so Haputale is before Alla. So in Haputale, uh, we only have Total Agala at the high end uh, uh, range. Two room categories, junior suites and suites. I would say go for suites because the room is a little bit bigger and then uh, some junior suites are smaller. But then again, uh, we know the exact room numbers and room names uh, which we would want your clients to be. So amazing view. So Haputale is one of the highest points in Sri Lanka. And then I mean, like uh, you get amazing views. Sometimes from these hills, you can see the ocean as well. That's how high you, your clients would be. And then again, uh, the pool is not heated. And then, um, yeah, it's an amazing place to be. And then Peko Trail. Again, we did another webinar on Peko Trail. Let me know if you want uh, to listen to that. So uh, one of the trails of Peko Trail goes very close to uh, Thotalagala. Okay, so Nine Skies, uh, which is another uh, teardrop property and uh, five bedrooms. Uh, some people say Nine Skies is in Alla and then, uh, but uh, to be quite uh, 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 literal, it is in Demodera, which is the next town to Alla. So um, this is ideal for families and friends to take over once again, another colonial bungalow. I mean, like more than 100 years old. I like this place uh, more than Goatfell. Goatfell is really good as well, but I like this because it has that colonial vibe a little bit more than Goatfell, I would say. So uh, if you want clients to stay stationed in Alla, then of course this would be the best uh, place to be. Okay. So now we are moving on to, I'm sorry, I just keep looking at my phone for uh, just to make sure that I don't uh, overshoot with the time. So uh, Galloway Lodge. So this is on the eastern side of the country. So uh, Galloway Lodge is a sustainable product. 
so I will not be talking about all the sustainable practices uh, you know, like employed by these uh, uh, properties because it's going to take a long time. So if you want more information about the sustainable aspects of these properties, let me know because we do a thorough a screening when it comes to uh, getting one of the properties on board uh, with us because we go there, we inspect the property, we make sure that no single use plastics are being used. Then uh, the local community is given first priority when it comes to employment. So we have a list of all the uh, things that we check before selling you these properties. So Gallo Lodge, again, an amazing place, but uh, uh, a little bit of uh, explanations need to be done to your guests. None of the rooms have air conditioned because of the sustainable concept that they have. We haven't got any complaints about this because uh, you know, like they have fans in the rooms and then surrounded by trees. So it is quite uh, cool, actually. So the East Coast is sometimes uh, it can be a little bit hot. And uh, uh, part of the washroom, I have to say, in all the rooms is open uh, to uh, uh, nature. So uh, these points I just uh, pinpoint because sometimes I could uh, freak a client or two if they see a bug or two in the room. So this is a very close to nature property. Uh, again, great food, uh, great uh, uh, people we have uh, here doing the service. One of the best unique selling points here are the rangers actually. Their knowledge is so amazing. So I mean like you show them a tree, they would say you know, like an entire history about that tree, how it is. I mean like, these are not uh, like boring explanations. They are like very interesting ways uh, they portray this information. They have a really good uh, collection of uh, rangers and then naturalists. So one of the big reasons why people would go and stay at Galway Lodge would be the boat safari and then the jungle cooking experience. So the jungle cooking experience is done with a local Vedda. So the Vedda's are the forest dwellers, the Aborigines people of Sri Lanka. So one of the forest dwellers would come and host the uh, uh, jungle cooking experience. And because of the language barrier, the naturalists will be doing the translation part. It is an amazing uh, meal that they uh, do. So I'm gonna, the first time I had this experience, I mean, like I ate something that I have never had. So I mean, like for 35 plus years, I have never eaten that food. And I was like blown away. So it is a really good experience that they have. Okay, so now we are moving on to the East Coast before going down to the South Coast, actually. So on the East Coast, we do have uh, two locations, Pasikuda and uh, uh, Trincomalee. So in Pasikuda, the best property that we could recommend is Ugabe, just like the name suggests. This is a part of Uga Escapes. So Uga Escapes have five properties. We talked about Uga Residence in Colombo, Ulagalla in the Culture Triangle, and then we are at the third property, Ugabe. So I would say Ugabe is a four star to four star plus property. Uh, there are no five star properties on the East Coast, uh, mind you. If we are taking five stars as like tea trails, a month, if we call those five stars, there are no five stars on the East Coast. So the four star plus would be the best ones that we have. But the beauty of this side of the country is like the beaches are like so beautiful. And then the water is shallow. You can walk into the ocean a little bit as well. And then, uh, uh, except for July and August, all the other months, it is like not crowded at all. So in Ugabe, uh, we have so many different room categories. The difference between a beach studio and an ocean studio is simply the fact that the beach studios are downstairs, the ocean studios are upstairs. That is it, the interior, the amenities, everything is the same. So in Ugabe, the rooms are like in a cluster, two beach studios downstairs, two uh, ocean studios upstairs. So when it comes to uh, families, we always tell the guests that uh, the ocean studios down upstairs or the beach studios downstairs are not interconnected, are not, I mean, like you can't walk from one balcony to the other. You have to come out of the balcony and then walk around and then go to the other room. So which is uh, something we always tell to the families who are, you know, like taking another room for the kids. So just so that they would know exactly what the room layout would be. So then we have two rooms. Uh, one is base suite with pool, which is a two-bedroom unit. Two rooms on either side, uh, living space in the middle, and then a pool in front. So this is on the first level of uh, Ugabe, uh, Amila, right on top of the recreational areas, the uh, restaurant area, and then it is closer to the main uh, 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 house. And then the beach villa is at the furthest corner, right in front of the ocean. Uh, but what we always say is like why we call it a beach villa and not an ocean villa 
is because uh, the villa has some mangroves and trees uh, growing i mean like uh, sitting right in front of uh, the villa down i mean like the downstairs area of the villa so you can't get the ocean view right from the uh, first uh, ground floor because why they have done it because there are so many properties right next to each other so i mean like, there will be like constantly people walking right in front of that villa and uh, if that those trees were not there then of course privacy could be an issue but uh, the two rooms are on the first floor and then from the rooms you get from one room you get a partial sea view and then from the main double bedroom you get a really good uh, sea view so the beach villa at ugabe i would say is the best room that we have in the entire east coast so if you are having a high-end guest wanting to go to uh, uh, the eastern side of the country i would say go for the beach villa with a pool so why we would uh, go for you know like east coast or the south coast that is like something that we talked about in another webinar but i will talk a little bit about it so that you would know when to use this property so uh, we have two monsoons in sri lanka one monsoon uh, happens from uh, southwestern side of the country that is uh, going to start from uh, next month onwards which would be from may to october so from may to october the southern and western side of the country would be getting a little bit of rain sometimes a lot of rain most of the time a little bit of rain so but it'll be sunny and uh, you know like uh, dry on the eastern side of the country during that time so pasikuda and trincomalee becomes very active from may to october just because of this monsoon and then vice versa so from november to april it will be raining on the eastern side of the country and that's when everybody goes uh, for their beach stay on the southern and western side so again may to october it is raining on the southern and western sides so from november to april it's raining on the eastern side of the country so that is why we have different areas that we would uh, take our guests to so because of this sri lanka is an year year round destination so whatever the month you come into the country we can do all the cultural sites all the wildlife sites depending on where you would be and then the beach side uh, also we would uh, uh, identify depending on uh, the month you travel okay so in trincomalee we have uga uga jungle beach again another uga property another four star plus property so they have lagoon cabins i would say uh, lagoon cabins if you are tight for the budget then uh, lagoon cabins would be the uh, 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 cheapest one and uh, so the lagoon cabins have rooms on top of uh, uh, each other so sometimes uh, at night when uh, it's like very quiet you can hear the footsteps of the people uh, walking on top of that so if your clients have the budget i would always say go for the beach cabins so the difference between the jungle and the beach would be like uh, in the jungle cabin just like the name says there's like a jungle surrounding the cabin and then in the beach cabins there is no ocean view uh, because there are like so many mangroves and then a lot of trees covering the view you have like a small pathway that uh, leads you directly onto the beach that you see uh, on this uh, big uh, picture so none of the rooms at Uga jungle beach have ocean view which is something that we have to uh, tell to the clients and then uh, they have a jungle cluster actually so in this cluster there are three cabins and uh, there is a private uh, pool uh, that is being shared by uh, these three rooms so if you have like uh, two rooms or three rooms kind of an inquiry i would say always go for the jungle cluster cabin because you are going to get a, a private pool but if you book only two rooms from the three rooms there could be another uh, outside guest uh, staying in the third room okay so now we are moving on to the third uh, city on the east coast which is called arugambe so in arugambe we have jetwing surf excuse me so jetwing surf uh, used to be another sustainable uh, product where they didn't have air conditioning at the beginning but now they added air conditioning because arugambe gets a lot a lot of uh, sun and uh, sometimes it is like a bit hard to stay inside the rooms so now all the rooms all the cabanas are like air conditioned so uh, another good point about uh, jetwing surf is because with jetwing surf you get access to uh, kumara national park so the second park uh, that i'm talking about with leopards and bears in sri lanka so mind you it's a one hour one hour 10 minute drive from uh, jetwing surf to kumara national park but it's not just a drive on the road uh, you're going to see a lot of 
village life, paddy fields, then a lot of bird life uh, on your way to Kumara National Park. So I would not recommend doing morning and evening, morning and evening, because it's like one hour, one way, and like another hour coming back. So doing like four hours of drive just for two safaris is not ideal. So if you are doing Kumuna while staying at Jetwing Surf, I would say do it as a half day program. So you know, like let the clients uh, enjoy the beach and uh, if they want, they can do some surfing as well in the morning and then in the afternoon, go and do the safari and come back in time for dinner. So Arugambe is very famous for surfing as well. There are five surf uh, breaks uh, in Arugambe starting from uh, 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 pro are going all the way down to a uh, beginner as well. So um, yeah, Arugambe is one of the hotspots uh, for the surfing uh, during the season, which will be from May to October. Okay, now we are coming down to Yala. So in Yala, we have uh, like uh, several properties that we'll be talking about because these are like all luxury properties. Uga Chena Huts, uh, another Uga property. This is proper five-star luxury property that we have. 18 cabins are there. All the cabins have uh, private plunge pools. Uh, 14 uh, were there at the beginning and then they added uh, four more. And uh, very spacious rooms. I mean, like inside the room, you can easily put two additional beds, which is ideal for families uh, when they're traveling together, actually. And then uh, when we are talking about the next property, which is Wild Coast, uh, I would talk about how... Uh, whether to go for Chen Hats or whether to go for Wild Coast, why it is. So here it is more of a contemporary modern vibe that you have. But at uh, Wild Coast, when we're talking about it, you will see it's a little bit of a different vibe that they have. So here they have some amazing rangers, uh, Fugaza Train, and then, uh, yes, one of the best rangers that we have are in Yala, actually. Then this is Wild Coast Tented Lodge, uh, one of the sister properties of Resplendent Ceylon. So this is the sister property of, uh, uh, I mean, like under the umbrella of Resplendent Ceylon, the sister property of uh, Ceylon Tea Trails in Hatton that we talked about. So Wild Coast is another Relay and Chateau property, the second one in Sri Lanka. And then here it is totally a different vibe. So here you get copper bathtubs and then African style tents. So it is a proper luxury African style experience that you would have here. So we have cocoon suites without pool, cocoon pool suites are there, and then fa family cocoon uh, pool suites are there with an adjoining urchin. So uh, the difference between the cocoon and the cocoon pool is like, just as you might have imagined, there is a pool outside and then the cocoon suites don't have it, but in the family cocoon, the uh, family cocoon pool with urchin, uh, the same identical cocoon suite is there for the couple. And then there is a small bridge uh, which takes you to a smaller version of a tent. So in there you get uh, like two additional beds and then a washroom and then the shower is outside. So this is something that we always tell to the families because uh, the shower being open to sky, it is adventurous, but uh, for smaller kids, the, uh, the parents could be a little concerned as to since you're you know, like in the jungle. So another all-inclusive product, Chain Huts as well, all-inclusive uh, product, good ranges we have uh, at Wild Coast as well. So uh, if you ask me the question whether to go for Chain Huts or Wild Coast, I would say you know like both are equally as good. I would say I personally like Chain Huts because my vibe is uh, going closer to Chain Huts with the modern contemporary vibe, but then of course we do have so many agents, so many clients who say they love Wild Coast as well. Another unique selling point of Wild Coast is uh, there are uh, a public pool which snakes around the uh, bar area and then around the restaurant, which is quite cool actually. Okay, now we have leopard trails in Yala. So if you are, if your clients are looking for a proper uh, tented accommodation. Leopard Trails is the best product that we have. If your clients are high end, I would say go for the pool suites. The main picture shows a private plunge pool. So uh, yes, again, uh, they are gonna convert uh, two deluxe tents into two pool suites, uh, pool suite tents. A spa is coming up with uh, two uh, spa beds as well. Some really amazing ranges are there. So I mean like the highlight of Yala in most of the cases are these ranges actually. So. That's why, you know, like the fourth uh, property I'll be talking about in a little while. So these four properties like Chena Huts, Wild Coast, Leopard Trails and Hilton Yala. So they have employed some of the best rangers that this country has to offer. 
whereas the Safari experience is really good. So Hilton Yala. So Hilton Yala, actually, uh, they have uh, 13 deluxe rooms, 13 premier suites, and 13 pool villas, and uh, great ranges, like I said earlier as well. Then we have, uh, I think I have to uh, go a little bit faster because the time is coming to a little bit of a uh, end, but uh, I will uh, touch on the beach properties uh, properly as well. So Aman Valla we have uh, in Tangor, which is one of the best beach properties that we would have, we have in Sri Lanka actually. So mind you, we don't have any private beaches in Sri Lanka. So, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. So the closest to a private beach that we have is at Amanvalla, because there is only a small road that leads from the main road uh, to the beach. So those who know about that road would come there, but uh, not like other beaches where a lot of people would be hanging around. So here Aman has like a great deal with uh, its beach access. So the garden pool suites, I mean like uh, the rooms, uh, the interior and everything is the same. It's just the view that is differentiating the different room categories. All the rooms have uh, private plunge pools. A couple of uh, uh, disadvantages of Aman is like, uh, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I'm telling you the disadvantages as well so that uh, you would know the good and the bad. I'm not just painting you a beautiful picture. So uh, one of the downsides of Aman Vela is like where the private plunge pool is at the back of the room. So I mean, like, normally you would expect the private plunge pool to have amazing ocean view but no the room is at the back uh, there is no view and then the second one is they don't have a spa they have converted two of the rooms into a spa but it's not like a proper aman kind of a spa so i heard that aman is expanding uh, aman valley is expanding so they're gonna build uh, like uh, uh, villas uh, which would be uh, sold to clients and then uh, lease back and then uh, these villas will be uh, like uh, rented. I mean, like we can rent these villas, uh, two bedroom, three bedroom kind of villas uh, in the future. So nothing had been published. Uh, nothing had been published yet. Uh, so it's just uh, some uh, information that I heard from their team. So yeah. Then we have Anantara Tangol, another amazing property that we have in Tangol, very close to Aman as well. So I would say go for their uh, beach pool villas or the ocean uh, view pool villas uh, for your very high-end guests because as you can see from the photo, you get uh, directly from your bed, you get the ocean views. And then uh, they have a concept of uh, rooms versus the villas. So I mean like you get a private butler for your private villas uh, and for the rooms as well, there is another butler. But uh, why you would go to a villa is like, sometimes a butler for a villa would manage only like two or three villas uh, during the day but for the rooms they might be managing like 10 rooms at one point of time so the service and then the attention to detail would be much better at the villas and uh, compared to the rooms the villas are much much better actually so they have so many dining options like an italian option then tepanyaki so so many uh, dining options they have and then uh, being a beach resort they have a large pool as well so uh, if you have any families looking for interconnecting rooms i would say go for the deluxe ocean view rooms and then if they want a villa the two bedroom garden pool villa would be an ideal option uh, duplex unit but uh, the two bedroom garden pool villa doesn't have any ocean view then we have Ani Villas. Okay, Ani Villas is one of the most luxurious villas that we have in Sri Lanka. So uh, the concept is such, they have 15 rooms altogether. On one side, we they have Villa Monora. On one side, they have Villa Divya. So I mean, like, when I say a villa, you might think that it's one structure, you know, like with seven different rooms. No, the rooms are scattered around and that entire area is called a villa. So that's why, uh, that's how they differentiate one villa to the other. So if it is just for a couple, then of course uh, they don't have like single room, uh, I mean like single room rates, unless otherwise on special occasions uh, we talk to them and uh, get a special permission. Otherwise you have to pay for the whole uh, seven rooms or the eight rooms. During the off season, they allow you to pay for four rooms and then uh, take the whole seven uh, rooms uh, exclusively. So at the beginning, uh, they sold uh, both the villas separately to two different parties, but now they don't do that. So if you take Villa Divya, they are going to close down Villa Monora as well. So which means 
you're going to get like the whole place all to yourself. So this is an amazing product. So for high-end guests, I would highly recommend this. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So we have another 10 minutes. So the Cape Valley Gamma is the sister property of Ceylon Tea Trails and Wild Coast uh, Tented Lodge, another, uh, the third and final Reliance Chateau property in uh, Sri Lanka. So they have so many room categories, uh, starting off from junior suites. So the junior suites and master suites are like in a block. So I mean, like they have two junior suites and two master suites in one block. A junior suite would be next to a master suite and uh, that is how the layout is gonna be. So they have like four of those blocks and in each block they have four rooms. So which means all 16 rooms are like surrounding uh, uh, the swimming pool that they have, which is public for all those uh, 16 uh, rooms. The junior suite is always a twin room uh, which can be put together and then created like a large king bed. Master suite and all the others are like uh, proper double rooms. So when it comes to the villas, the villas are like scattered around in the property. So I love this place because of their villa concept because uh, sometimes you get like two villas in one garden. So they have the garden concept. So they have different, different gardens cordoned off. So in one garden, you could have like two villas of two different uh, categories, and then there's a large pool uh, in the garden. So if you're looking for two rooms, go for these uh, two uh, villa gardens where you have like so much of space. The villas are like extremely spacious, large bathrooms. Each uh, villa and each suite has its own, own uh, sauna as well. And uh, having your own uh, plunge pool uh, for these two villas is like a plus. So they have different villa categories, luxury, premier, prestige, grand, and then uh, the highest category is the pool villa. So one thing you have to understand with the pool villa is like it's always on the first floor of a prestige uh, villa. On top of a prestige villa, you would always get uh, a pool villa. So if you are looking for a pool villa for a client who is having like a walking disability, this is not the place. But uh, if uh, they are looking for a pool villa with amazing ocean views, I would say always go for the pool villas because when the property started off, they had uh, so many rooms with ocean views, but because of their sustainability concept, they don't cut down trees, they don't trim the trees uh, just so that the rooms would have uh, like ocean view. So therefore we have to say the ocean views are like partial ocean views that you would have in most of these rooms. And they created like uh, the concept of a family unit, which is a collection uh, between a junior suite and a master. So they broke, uh, broke down a wall and then they created an interconnecting uh, 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 door. And then uh, the duplex unit, uh, like I uh, explained earlier, is always a prestige uh, villa and a pool villa put together. You can sell it as a family unit as well. Okay, so next is Malabar Hill. So this is in Valigama. Uh, Malabar Hill is not on the beach. It is on the land side located on top of a hill. And then uh, they have 12 identical pool villas. Uh, so uh, they have wetland view and then forest view. So sometimes, uh, you know, like you might hear words like ocean view, but you know, like don't sell it as an ocean view because you'll have to go searching for the ocean from the room, whereas the ocean kind of view you would have then you would figure out there's like a small splinter of an ocean view at the end. So don't say it as ocean view, go for the wetland view. Uh, and then uh, this is adults only again, and then amazing, amazing food they have. So they are experimenting with uh, the food uh, of Sri Lanka and then different Asian regions and then creating uh, fusion food of their own. So ideal for families, uh, ideal for uh, couples who are on honeymoon. Okay, I thought I would uh, put Villa Ahasa in here as well because this is not a five-star uh, villa. This is more of a four-star villa. So Villa Ahasa and right next to it is an identical, another villa called Villa Sulanga. Ahasa means sky, Sulanga means uh, the wind. So Villa Ahasa is one of the best beach villas in the four-star plus category that we have in Sri Lanka. Great chef, uh, great caretakers are there. So tastefully done. The villas are good and then they have uh, a big lawn as you can see from the photo and then uh, direct beach access as well. <coughs> Sorry. So right next to Villa Hassan Sulanga is a four-star plus property called 
KK Beach. We love this place. It serves the purpose of uh, you know, like whether it's a family or whether it's a couple. So all the rooms have direct sea view from their rooms and then great food. Uh, the only thing is like the restaurant is open to public as well, but uh, they don't allow outsiders to use the pool. So you could uh, have, your guests could have like a couple of people from outside uh, having the meals. Apart from that, everything else is uh, good. And uh, Amangala. So this is one of the best properties that we have inside the golf fort. So in Amangala, we have uh, so many different room categories actually. So if you have the budget, then of course, I would say start with the suites. So uh, of course, the Amangala suites are much bigger. They are on the corners and then uh, they have uh, light coming into the room from two different sides. That's the difference. And uh, when it comes to some of the suites, uh, so if you have any clients uh, who are like friends sharing a room, then always mention that to us because we have our different room numbers that we allocate to couples and then for friends. Let me tell you why, because uh, some of the bathrooms, uh, I mean, like the shower areas, they don't have doors. I mean, like this is like the concept in certain rooms. If friends are you know, like sharing, if brothers and sisters are sharing the room, it could get a little bit awkward. So that's why we say always tell us in advance uh, who is uh, sharing the room so that way we can allocate the correct uh, uh, room. So the chambers and veranda chambers, which are like the second and third room categories are amazing as well. Veranda chambers have like uh, so many panels of uh, windows, which are like from ceiling to the roof that can be opened up and then a lot of light and air coming in. And then uh, the garden house is like a standalone unit in, uh, the, uh, in the property. So I mean like some people like it, some people don't, but if you are looking for like a staycation where you know, like you want to be away from everybody, you know, like you want your own house kind of thing, garden house would be the ideal place then they have a sunset cocktail up in the third floor as well two more properties and then we'll be done uh haritha villas again another one of the best uh, uh properties that we have in sri lanka i mean like we can easily say this is one of the best ones because their contemporary villas are like superb so uh they have like small gardens uh created by the trees and then each one of these contemporary pool villas, just like the name says, has a private plunge pool. And then the main picture up there is for the colonial mansion. So one mansion has uh, uh, the capacity to take up to five people. The other one has a capacity for six people. So they sell these two mansions separately. But if you have like 10 to 11 people wanting to take over these two bungalows, you can uh, uh, have this whole place to yourself. If you're in the mansions, then of course uh, we can put extra beds and then uh, we can talk to the owners and see if they are willing to uh, you know, like consider kids. But in contemporary pool villas, no additional beds, no kids allowed. And one of the main uh, features of uh, Haritha Villas is the Ayurvedic wellness aspect. So they have an amazing Ayurvedic doctor, amazing Ayurvedic package, seven nights, 14 nights. So if you are looking for like a 14 night uh, uh, wellness uh, package in Sri Lanka, I would say go for seven nights in Santani and then go for seven nights in Haritha Villas. So that would be an ideal combination. So the last property would be uh, Lunuganga, which is in Benthata. Totally different to everything that we've been talking about. So I thought I would put it in as uh, a property because uh, this is uh, this was actually the country estate home of Jeffrey Bava. So uh, if anybody is interested in art and architecture, this is the place to be. So a lot of uh, explanations need to be uh, put in. So uh, this place is being maintained like a museum. So the walls are not being painted, uh, but everything is like prim and proper. But uh, wh why walls are not being uh, painted is because they want to maintain the place as how it was when Jeffrey was alive. So that's the whole concept. So I mean, like you have garden tours happening every day. So for the garden tours, there could be like outside guests coming in, but they don't come into the main house. That is not part of the garden tour. And uh, yeah, the rooms are there. Uh, my favorite room in the entire pr uh, property would be the gallery studio, which is the bottom right uh, corner a picture of the place. So uh, they didn't have a pr uh, swimming pool, but they added a swimming pool recently, which was a great uh, thing to do. Uh, because if you're staying for like two, three nights here, then of course you would uh, need a pool. So uh, these are some of the upcoming projects that we have uh, in Sri Lanka. 
So on to your left, Uga Haluela, these are all renderings, not the actual ones. Uh, Uga Haluela, another Uga property, coming up in September, six bedrooms. And then uh, in Yala, we have Kotiagala with uh, rooms with private plunge pools. So the pictures are looking amazing. And then uh, uh, we don't have pictures for the others, so I thought I would just mention uh, their names. The Canopy Lodge by Resplendent Ceylon in Sigiriya. So they're going to elevate all the rooms above the three levels, and then they're going to have uh, like 30 to 33 of these uh, canopy uh, rooms. And then we have Warden's House in Yala uh, by Totlagala and Gulfport Hotel people. So it is going to be at the other side of the entrance, like uh, not the Paltupana. This is going to be at the Katagamo entrance where all the uh, camping supplies are at. And then W15 Ambuluava, which is closer to Kandy. So the Ambuluava Tower is famous. So fr uh, from the property, you can get uh, a view of uh, the Ambuluava. And then at Santani, on the other side of the mountain, they are putting up uh, two-bedroom pool villas. As you know, in Santani, we don't have any private plunge pools. And uh, these are coming up uh, next year. So Uga is putting up another property in Alla. So the secret Alla property, they have taken over. Uh, still, a name is not finalized. So they're going to have private plunge pools. And then the, from the property, you're going to see like the Nine Arch Bridge. So that's about it, actually. So, yeah. Thanks, Sanka. Um, we don't have any questions yet, um, but if anyone thinks of anything afterwards, then definitely let us know. Um, obviously, a lot of information to take in, but all the most amazing properties in the country. Um, so if any of them yeah, are of interest to you that you want to learn more about, then just let me or Sanka know and um, we can come back to you. Oh, someone has just asked a question. Um, what about Karpaha Sands? Karpa Sands? Is that four yes, or Karpa, five star? Account? So Karpa Sands, I would say, is uh, still a four star plus product. Of course, uh, you can easily pitch, uh, pitch it as a five star product, but if you are comparing tea trails and then amans, then of course it's not up to the standards of those. That's why I'm very particular in saying five star to a product. So Karpa Sands, uh, as you might know, are like tented uh, accommodation, and then uh, they have. The ocean view ones are like amazing, but the only downside is like the road that leads up from the main road uh, all the way to the property. One of the worst roads uh, that we have, it could be a little bit of a turn off if uh, the clients want to you know, like constantly go in and out of the property to you know, like uh, do some uh, uh, excursions or go to a different beach kind of thing. So apart from that, Karpaha Sands is another one of the good properties that we have on the East Coast. It is not on the beach stretch of properties as Pasikuda. This is in uh, the next village called Kalkuda, actually. Okay, thank you. Um, now we've got another question as well, um, saying, do you recommend the postcard properties? Yes, the postcard properties are good. So they have uh, one down in Gaul and then another one, I can't remember where it is. So to be frank, we haven't used postcard properties uh, that much. So I have inspected the one in Gaul, which is good. And then for a four-star client, that is a good option that we have. But we do recommend KK Beach uh, uh, because KK Beach has like direct beach access and then amazing food, uh, I mean like amazing service. So, uh, but can't tell anything bad about postcard uh, as well. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, we I know we talked about the top 30, but there's obviously loads of other properties that we haven't been able to mention because Sri Lanka has so many amazing boutique properties. Um, so not not that, um, yeah, not saying that we don't sell all the other ones. It's just that these are our top top 30 favorite ones. Um, I think that's it for now. So, yeah, thank you so much, Sanka. We're um, very excited because the sales and marketing team are actually heading out to Sri Lanka next end of next week. Um, we're going to be there for just over a week, seeing some of the properties that Sank has mentioned today um, and doing our own kind of little inspections of the place. And we're going to be doing some filming of the team out there and talking about some of the experiences that we can offer. Um, so stay tuned on all of our social media platforms because we'll be posting stuff and then sending a newsletter afterwards. Um, oh, we've got one last question before we finish. Someone's just asked. Um, and that is, do we recommend Candy House? Candy House, yes, we do. So a little bit of, uh, uh, I mean, like why I didn't have Candy House is for a reason, actually. It's a good thing that you asked. 
So Candy House, as you know, uh, is being managed by Tim and Manor House Concepts. So their agreement is coming to an end. So from 31st uh, March 2025, uh, Manor House Concepts will not be managing Candy House. So we are in a phase where, uh, where we are not sending clients to Candy House until we get a feel of the new management, so to speak, because we had no problems in uh, talking about Candy House when Tim was there and then uh, his team was amazing. But uh, we want to wait and see uh, how the new management is uh, going to be. So Candy House still is one of the best products that we have in Candy, actually. Great, thank you, Sanka. And one last question that's just come in um, is, what is the best mode of transportation to navigate the country? Is it better to do commercial air, road transfer, heli or private charter? Okay, so if your clients have the budget, I would say go for the cinnamon air flights and the helicopters because that is the most easiest way to do because drive times in Sri Lanka can be quite long. And then when you're driving in the hills, it's like so windy and then sometimes you feel nauseous. So if your clients have the budget, I would say from Colombo to Siguria, we have a direct flight, uh, which is just 30 minutes. And then from uh, there, if you want to go to the candy area, then of course, if they don't want to drive for like two, three hours, I would say go for the helicopter ride. But from tea trails, we have uh, from Hatton area, we have flights going down to uh, Gaul area and then to Yala as well. So use the flights as much as you can. It is gonna make a world of a difference for your client's experience. Great, thank you, Sanka. Although I do have to say for the first time going, there's not much, nothing quite like going on the roads because even though they're exactly. pretty close, you get to see so many amazing things and kind of stop off along the way and have a bit of an experience in the journey in itself. So um, yeah, it's still a great way to travel and definitely my favorite way to get around. Um, exactly. Yeah, that's it for now. I think if anyone does think of anything afterwards, please do reach out to us. Um, yeah, reach out to Sanka directly. He's obviously the expert, so he knows everything. Um, and yeah, please stay tuned for our um, sales and marketing team takeover when we'll be in Sri Lanka and updating you all on our, our exciting uh, journey. So yeah, thanks very much for joining us, everyone. And thanks very much, Sanka, for talking us through everything. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye.